Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel today for another video on Gran Turismo 7 and I am back with the new sport mode time trial that goes live every single week on Gran Turismo. So we have a new one. Looks like we're getting a new one every single week to earn 2 million credits. Now this week's one is a rather long combination. We know the track, it's green hell and it's the endurance layout. So it's going to be quite a long lap, over 8 minutes and it requires a lot of concentration and knowledge of the track which I hope I can help you out with with this guide so we are running the supra for this guide it's in group three any car in group three i'm using the supra because of the insane top speed of this car and we are running on racing hard tires now to enter this time trial you simply go into the sport mode menu there and then you are going to go into the online time trial section click on that and you can see it says north life on it already you've got the 13 day one we've already got the guide out for grand valley so if you're looking for one for that you can click check that out on the channel but you will need to get within three percent for the gold five percent for the silver and ten percent for the bronze now this time will adjust as people go faster throughout the week and you will get your two million credits at the end of the 13 days when it's finished if you're within the three percent now you can load my ghost up from the menu inside the time trial i have set a ghost lap it was briefly in the top 10 it's not now but yeah you, you will be able to load that up to challenge yourself and help you also chase a ghost for this goal time so if you do enjoy these videos subscribe to the channel give it a like help the channel out massively and yeah let's get into this guide to try and make this as as easy as we can for you so going into turn one, we are going to be looking for the 150 board on the left hand side. You can see it there. We're going to break ever so slightly past that. So just as we go and pass it, you're going to see the braking inputs going in. So playing it a bit more and you can see the braking inputs have started to go in. So just past that 150 board, braking inputs going in, keeping the car to the left hand side of the track. You can see I'm really using the full width of the track as we go down to first gear because you want to rotate this in more because we're not going to be going for the normal layout of the GP track. We're going to rotate it into this apex and then we want to get this car lined up for this next corner. You can see how we're already a little dab of brake here just to get a bit of weight on the front of the car. That will help rotate the car through the corner and then just getting it through that apex, clipping the wall almost. You want to get as close to that wall as possible and then get on the throttle and accelerate out onto the full width of the track. So up shift to third gear quite early. This car is really good with third gear acceleration. And now we're looking for the next braking zone, this left hand rear. We're using the end of the tarmac for the sprint layout. You can see the cone there, that's a good reference as well. And we're gonna rotate this car in, in third gear, trail braking into the apex. And then a little bit of throttle goes in there just to try and rotate that car a bit. And then as soon as we're pretty much in a straight line, by the end of the red part of the curb, the last red part, you get on the brakes and down to second gear. And what you wanna do is try and get as close to the apex as possible. I run a little bit wide here, but what I do is I get on the power reasonably okay. And then up shifts to third gear. Again, really good acceleration in third gear. And then we're going to power our way. Now you are going to rev out in third and fourth gear with this car. You're not going to short shift too much with third and fourth gear. And just past the start of the grey bit of tarmac on the left there, you're going to get on the brakes. And this is hopefully going to slow you down enough to take quite a narrow line through this hairpin. It's really important to try and get this car narrow into this apex. So down to second gear, try and hold a, a narrow apex and then rotate it, rotate it. Then once you feel the rotations there, Get on that throttle, power out this corner, up shift to third gear, and now we're going to be working our way into this fast flowing chicane. Now this corner is just a little bit of a lift off the throttle. You're not going to really break. So as we come into this corner, you can see there, lifting off the throttle, that's going to just let the weight transfer a little bit and help you rotate into the apex bit. Left hand tire up onto the curb, and again, right hand tire up onto the curb on the right hand side. Use a bit of the green aster on the right hand side. And then we're going to go into fifth gear and looking for the next braking zone. So we're going to use the change of color between the two tarmacs there's a reference for the brakes you can see how it changes color that's when we're getting on the brakes way before the 100 board and now we're going to rotate this in you really want to try and get this left hand tight up onto the green pit if, if possible but we slightly miss that using third gear to accelerate and now we're going to rotate this into the right hand corner now you can use second gear for a bit of rotation and then back up to third gear for some of these corners it will give you extra rotation but for this one i stayed in third gear i felt like i had reasonable rotation anyway but yeah if you need that little bit of extra rotation little bit of second gear downshift to second let it go back with rotation then upshift to third gear straight away also first gear can be used in slow corners to do a similar thing as well with the supra so now we're working our way into another fast fast chicane and we are going to break in between the 100 and the 50 board on the right hand side breaking just in between them two and you really want to get this left hand tire to get over onto the curb so left hand tire to almost clip the bollard on the left and then on the exit your right hand tire is going to do something similar with the bollard on the other side so again right hand tire almost skimming that bollard you can probably actually hit it and get away with it and now we're going to work our way into this tricky corner this is 
very important to get on the brakes quite early. See, on the brakes already from here, and then we're gonna go down into second gear. Now you can use first gear for a bit of extra rotation on about now, and then back up to maybe second or third gear for the drag, for the acceleration out of the exit. So yeah, if you need that extra rotation, use it with first gear. And then as the barrier on the end ends there for the pit lane exit of the normal layout, you're gonna get on the brakes, downshift to second gear. You wanna right, really get this car rotating into this corner. So trail brake into the apex you can see trail braking trail braking and then off the trail brake onto the throttle and now we're going to accelerate out onto the real tricky bit starts now this is where it gets really tricky and you've really got to be patient and you've really got to be concentrating 100 so as we go on this downhill section just a little bit of a lift for this corner now you probably can do this almost flat but i just do it for safety you know you're only trying to get the two million credits so a little bit of a lift there and then work our way down into this next braking so now we're going to get on the brakes quite early here i do it by a visual reference i don't really have a reference on the track i just do it by visuals making sure that i'm breaking early enough to slow this down without being a little bit too deep in on this next corner so you, what you want to do is have it slowed down now down to third gear and this is the part you want to try and get that right hand tire on, close that curb and then accelerating out of the corner you don't want to be under steering off into the grass so now this corner is again it's all about being smooth and get using the full width for the track. So a little bit of braking going in just as we come off that curb. And you can see right hand tire up onto the curb. Again, left hand tire is gonna do something similar. And you can see I'm actually using a bit of brake and accelerator to stabilize the car as we go through here. Just a little bit there, just helps stabilize it, just stops it from spinning out. And now we're going into this next right hand corner, which again, we're gonna brake just after the start. You can see the change of color on the tarmac. Just after that, that's when we're getting on the brakes and we're gonna get second gear for rotation and then back up to third gear for the acceleration out of this corner. Just get your left-hand tire up onto the curb and now it's all about acceleration. Changing gear just before the end of the rev zone in third and then again up into fifth gear. Now I'm gonna let it rev out in fifth gear a little bit more than what I normally would because we're gonna go up on this uphill section. And just as we approach the top of the hill here, you can see the little bit of tarmac and the change of the way it goes a little bit of mud on the left. We're gonna use that as a reference, make sure we're breaking before that. And I'm gonna go early into sixth gear before we go into this corner just to try and make it a little bit smoother all the way through it and we can carry more momentum on the exit. Now we, you can do that corner faster, but nice easy way to do it. Early up to the sixth, keep it smooth. And now this is all about flat out acceleration in sixth gear. You're going to be going all the way up here through this left hand corner and now you're just going to give it a little bit of a lift on this corner off the throttle to try and help the car get into the apex on the left so you're going to see watch my throttle inputs tiny little bit of a lift there just to try and keep the car to left hand side so that when we get on the brakes as soon as we've got the car in a straight line we're onto that brakes and we're going to be slowing this car down now it's important to get really earlier rather than later because if you're slightly late on the brakes for this corner it's so easy to understeer off into the gravel now what you want to do is get it so that you're slowing down right hand tire can get very close to the apex on the right hand side and then you can upshift the third gear and get that power down without running wide off the track on the left hand side so use a bit of curve on the left and now we're powering our way all the way down the hill. you can see revving it out a little bit there fifth gear you can change gear quite early you see about 60 percent shift there and now we're going into the next tricky section of track now this corner is all about aggression taking speed you can use that whiteboard on the right or the red orange barrier on the left there as a reference for braking and you want to get your left hand tire up over this curb. You want to almost cut a little bit of the corner just so you can straighten this up so that when you hit this point now with the brakes, you're in a straighter line. And you can see I'm already on the brakes. As soon as we're off that curb, we're pretty much on the brakes, down to fourth gear, then down to third gear, trying to get the right hand tire onto the curb. And then left hand tire is going to get close to this curb. And then as soon as you're getting close to this curb on the left hand side, you can see I'm onto the brakes. We're slowing that car down to second gear, then first gear for a bit of extra rotation, just to keep it nice and narrow into the apex, and then upshift to second gear and we should be able to get some acceleration out of this right-hand corner. Now, you can get into third gear extremely early for this exit, but for me, we're just trying to get the goal. So we're just gonna stay in second gear, a little bit of braking input just to get a bit of rotation, use the curb on the right, and you can see just being very careful with that throttle. We're gonna go into third gear just as we come out the exit, and now we're accelerating into the next left-hand corner. Now, this left-hand corner can catch you out very easy. It's really important that you don't take too much speed for this corner, so again, as we approach here, you can see a bit of braking input going on. Now there is a gap on the trees between the right-hand side that you can see there. That is what you can use as a reference, but I just do it more by visual reference, just making sure that I don't carry too much speed. Now for this braking, there is some white writing on the track. I make sure that I brake just slightly past that white writing. So just as we go past it, onto the brakes, and we're gonna go down to third gear and then down to second gear as we approach the apex. So just as we're approaching in, down to second gear, and you're gonna probably wanna go back up to third gear pretty quick just for a bit more smoother 
acceleration out of this exit. Just be careful on the throttle all the way through the section because it's very easy to put too much power down and spin the car. Next braking zone, again, you've got the whiteboard there, very good reference for the braking. So as we go and just past that, pretty much level with it, we're getting on the brakes and we're gonna go into this next right-hand corner. Now this, again, down to second gear, but you wanna carry the speed out the exit. So you can see slow, 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 and then onto the throttle and trying to get on that power to carry it all the way through this flat out corner. Now this is completely flat out. You do not need to lift there. Just make sure your left hand tire is close to the curb, again on the curb there, and then into this tricky corner. You can use, as a reference, the little bit of change of color on the barrier. As a reference, I do it more by a visual reference, just making sure again, earlier rather than later, down to fourth gear, try and get it so that you don't understeer wide on the exit. You can see a lot of room to play with, a lot of time to gain there if I really wanted to, but we're playing it really safe. And again, on the brakes really early for this next corner. Again, there's not really much reference I use for this corner. It's more about visuals, as you can see the downhill slope, down to first gear. Again, first gear for rotation. And then what you're gonna see is, as we're trying to keep it narrow through here, we're gonna go up into second gear. So just as we're coming through here, up into second gear, a little bit of acceleration, then we're gonna go up into third gear fairly early as well as we come out the exit. And then again, you can see keeping that throttle about 80, 90% because we're just playing with it a little bit. We don't wanna go too aggressive because it will understeer. Next, left-hand corner, end of the curb as a reference. I break just before that, but I use it as a reference the end of the curb. It's a really good reference to use. And then just trying to get your left-hand tire as close to the curb on the left-hand side. Just be careful you don't run wide onto the curb. You can spin easily on that curb on the right there. You can see my car getting a little bit sideways there. And now into this next right-hand corner again, onto the brakes before the end of the curb. You can see braking input going in before the end of the curb on the left. And now we're powering onto that accelerator. Try and get on that accelerator as early as you can without obviously oversteering it. The more speed you take out of there, you're gonna benefit all the way on this acceleration zone into the next right-hand corner. So completely flat through this left-hand corner. And now we're gonna be using a little bit of blue writing you see there on the track as a reference for our braking. So just as we're going past that, we're gonna get on the brakes and try and make sure we don't take too much speed into this right-hand corner. Again, it's all about slowing it down so that you can get on the power earlier because the importance of this is it's quite a long acceleration zone. So you wanna be early, then back onto the throttle as early as you can to carry that momentum all the way up this uphill section because this is a completely flat out part of the track. You are benefiting so much by getting on the throttle earlier there. And yeah, make sure you short shift around about 50, 60% into sixth gear because you get a little bit more benefit from doing it in this car around fifth, sixth gear. But earlier gears, you tend to rev out a little bit more. So factor that in with your gear changing. So now we're gonna be going into the fast flowing left-hand corner. This again is important to try and carry the speed but you can just do it safely. I do it very safely here. You can see just as we're approaching this little bit of change of color on the right hand side with the tarmac, you can see on by the barrier, we're gonna get on the brakes and down to fifth gear, just let it coast in and then a bit of throttle inputs going in. It could have been more aggressive than what it was. You can actually take about 140 through there, but we two about two miles per hour slow than what we could have took. And then up to sixth gear, completely flat through that right hand corner. And then we're gonna be going into this next heavy braking zone, which we're gonna use the start of the curb on the left hand side. Very good reference to use. Just make sure you're braking before that, down to second gear as you approach the apex, and just try and keep it as narrow as you can. You're gonna use a bit of width on entry and then try and keep it close to the apex as you're going through the corner. So just be careful on the throttle here. It's all about just being very patient before you go maximum throttle. Once the car's kind of straightened up, you can get on that throttle and work your way into the carousel, which again, this corner is so important not to over brake. Using the shadow as a reference is really good for this time trial. Remember that will adjust though, depending on time of day, if you're doing this at a different time of day. But for this time trial, that shadow is a really good reference to use for your braking. Down to second gear, again, what you need to do here is make sure you're not braking too late because if you brake too late, you're gonna end up on the top part, which is way slower. You wanna be on the cambered part of the corner because the camber will allow you to take more speed all the way around this long left-hand corner and then get on the throttle that little bit earlier. Just be careful on the throttle on the exit there. Very easy to overdo the throttle and spin. Now we're gonna be looking for this next left-hand corner. So completely flat through this first part, then it's the braking phase. Just as we're coming up to this part here, you're gonna see a little bit of writing on the floor. We're gonna break just past that. I actually use the reference of the curb for where I brake though. I find that easier because it's a little bit ahead of you. So just brake just before that. And then again, this part is all about lifting off that throttle. You see the throttle not being maximum and just trying to keep it close to the curb on the left and then rotate it into this next right-hand part. You can see a little bit of braking input going on again, just to try and get some rotation on the car with weight transfer, down to third gear briefly, then back up to fourth gear. And again, this marshal on the right-hand side, very good reference to use for your braking. Just as we're about level with him, we're gonna get on the brakes 
and that's going to be good enough hopefully downshift into third gear to rotate this car into this next right hand corner again very easy to run wide on this right hand corner here very easy to get up on that curb and lose a lot of time so just be careful you don't go too far wide and now we're into fourth gear and accelerating through this next flow fast flowing corners it's all about carrying momentum and speed through here so again you can see you want to be getting this right hand tire up onto the curb on the right hand side you can see the little bit of braking input going in again here just before the marshall and the red barrier on the left hand side it's only a dab there just to get a bit of weight transfer it's not really full braking again through this left hand corner you see a slight bit of braking input going in again we're just trying to put a little bit of weight transfer it's nothing exaggerated it's just basically just trying to be smooth without overdriving this at the moment again using the curb on the right hand side right hand tire can get right up onto that tarmac on the right hand side of the curb so you can get up on there and now we're going to go into this next right hand corner using again marshall on the left hand side good reference to use for a braking you can see just as we're level with him braking input going in now i am going to go down to third gear briefly here so you can see down to third gear let it rotate in i think you can probably do this almost a bit more staying in fourth gear but i just do it for safety then back up to fourth gear use some of the exit curb concrete on the left hand side there and then at the end of this white writing you can see that's a good reference again to use for your braking reference so this writing on the track is really good as brake references so again just as you're going past that get on the brakes down to third gear as you're coming into this corner you can see just being careful on the throttle not maximum throttle we're just being very gentle and then once we feel we're safe getting on that throttle a bit more aggressively and again using the end of the concrete on the left hand side there as a reference breaking just short of that down to third gear try and get your right hand tire as close to the curb as possible be careful you don't push too much on the exit here you can easily run wide and then again end of the curb on the left hand side is a very good reference for the braking into this next right hand corner you can see just going on that brakes just before the end of the curb and just being very careful all the way through you can see a bit of trail brake going on and then onto that throttle and again be careful you don't run too far wide on the exit because you can easily spin on that curb and then this tricky left hand corner is all about widening the line in you can see a little bit of writing on the track there it's pretty good to use as a reference as we approach it you can see just going on the brakes just past that now what you want to do is try and keep the car to the right as much as possible then rotate it in quite late so we're going late into this apex because we want to carry the momentum out of the exit so you can see straightening the car you can actually get the car straightened up and use some of the curb on the right and then powering flat out all the way to this little bit of a jump now be very careful on this part of the track what i do is brake as soon as we're at the top of the hill before the jump we're onto that brake to create a little bit of weight towards the front of the car that will stop you going too deep into the corner keeps the car a little bit more stable and then down to fourth gear try and hold it to the apex as much as you can and now be aggressive on the throttle you will might need to give it a little bit of a lift off the throttle as you go through this left hand corner you can see i just gave it a brief little lift as i went into fifth gear there just a bit of a hesitation lift and now this is completely flat out all the way through here just completely flat out up into sixth gear and just let the car just keep the car away from the curbs as much as possible just keep it nice and smooth and then into this next right hand corner you can see a little bit of writing on the track which you can use as a reference for where you're going to get on the brakes i'm nice and early on the brakes here playing it cautious you can go a little bit more aggressive than what i'm doing but i'm playing it very cautious a little bit of braking input going in letting the car rotate with a bit of weight onto the front then off the brakes and then back onto the brakes as soon as we're pretty much in a straight line as you see there we're in a straight line braking input going back on and again you want to get this down to third gear now really i run a little bit wider you'd rather be a little bit closer to that apex so you can get on the throttle a little bit earlier than what i've done here so a lot of bit, a little bit of momentum lost on the exit there but not too much of a loss so now into the next left hand corner again you can see that white writing on the track very good for a reference into this next left hand corner again similar to the corkscrew you want to get this car onto the cambered part of the corner you can see how that massive cambered part get it into that little rot there and then be careful on the throttle on the exit you can see i'm not going 100 percent instantly because there's a little bit of a jump if you're too aggressive you can easily spin the car there and then into this next right -hand corner which is very important for your exit speed onto the straight so braking a little bit early i don't really have a reference for that i just do it a little bit more by visuals just so i soon as I see that curve on the right braking early for it and then just try and get this car rotating through this corner so you know i'm in fourth gear going up to fifth gear really you want to get a little bit closer to the curb a little bit earlier in the corner there to power out of this corner run a little bit wide there but we carry decent speed all the way up this hill early shot up shift to sixth gear we're going to fast forward this part because it is completely flat out you don't really need to do anything special it's just flat out all the way until we get to the final braking zone so just as we're coming through you can see the curb on the right 
just as we're coming to the end of the curb, we're going to get on the brakes and you can actually see there's a white line on the track and a red bit of barrier, which is very good to use as a reference to make sure you're on the brakes early enough. Now, again, left-hand side, try and keep it to the left-hand side of the track because you want to rotate it into this right-hand corner. Still on the brakes, you can see as we go down to second gear and then you're going to trail brake into the corner at this point you see that trail braking going on right hand tire up onto the curb and then throttle inputs going in you can be fairly aggressive up into third gear just be cautious it doesn't try and spin out on you there just be, you might need to do a little bit of a lift off the throttle every now and then just to stop that rear sliding out and we're going to go over the line for an 809 now hopefully this guide will help you out it is a very long guide it's a long lap to get two million but if you can follow the guide you might not take too long to get this lap done because like I say, you've got a lot of time to play with. You know, you've got, I think it's a massive amount of difference between gold and the top time. So there's a lot of time available on this track. Learn the track. Hopefully it'll give you the time that you need. And remember, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it and hit that like button. I'll leave you with the chase camera footage as we leave this video and you can watch it at full speed. Thanks again for watching, everyone.